Today we're taking a look at Gen Energy's V-mount batteries. Now on the outside they look like typical V-mount batteries but uh, there's a lot of thought in design and build here. Let's take a look at one of the features they're most proud of and that's the uh, US military drop test certification. It's even stamped right outside of their box. They said in order to get the certification they had to drop their batteries at least 26 times and they say they are the first to receive the certification for a V-mount battery. They were at Cinegear and NAB earlier this year doing all types of drop test demos with their batteries so they really stand behind their build quality. Over here we're taking a look at three different capacities. We have a 98 watt, 195 watt and a 290 watt. Just for reference this is what it looks like mounted to the back of the Blackmagic Design Ursa. As you can see I still have easy clearance to all my XLR ports so it's a low profile battery here so it sits pretty low. Now they've built everything inside of this battery. They have their own printed circuit boards and their own software and algorithm that help extend the life of the battery cells. They also talk about having no wires inside and that lowers the battery temperature because it lowers the resistance inside, the uh, impedance. Every Gen Energy battery here has two DTAP ports out and a five volt USB. There's also a battery meter on the side here with five LED lights. Each light represents 20% power, so if you have one light that is blinking, that's about 10%. For instance, if you had four solid lights and one blinking light, you'd be about 90%. Now I can do a couple of different things with these lights. If I click it three times, I can turn them off. And if I click three more times, I can have them on permanently. Now pretty much every decent rechargeable battery has some sort of built-in protection. And with V-mount batteries, normally if you plug it into something and it's overloaded or it's shorted, it will trip itself and disable itself. The only way to reset it is to put it back on a charger and that will reset the battery. Now one interesting thing you can do with Gen Energy is if you just hold down the battery meter, the battery can reset itself out in the field so you don't need to have a charger with you. So we talked about how they have their own boards and algorithms and software. So what this battery will do is it will auto power off in 30 minutes if it doesn't detect the discharge. So if it's not plugged into anything. After 48 hours, it will actually go into a deep sleep mode. And if you need to power it back on, you just click on the battery meter button. Now all of this will help keep your battery charged up longer, especially if you're storing it away or you're traveling because it's not going to self discharge. It also has built in protection so it doesn't get below a certain voltage um, and that helps extend the life of your battery because with certain lithium ions if you go below a certain voltage it doesn't charge up very well or it may not charge up at all. So this one has built in protection to make sure it never gets below a certain voltage. All right, so that's a quick look at Gen Energy's V-mount batteries. Uh, what can you say? If you compare these price versus capacity against anything else on the market, it's pretty comparable. So I don't see any reason why you wouldn't want to use these batteries. They have dual D-tap out, which is great. A uh, five volt USB on all of their batteries, even the smallest one here. Um, the build quality, obviously they're really bragging about durability and, and drop tests, so it's going to last out in the field. Seems like they got a lot of smart features in here that'll extend the life of the battery and even keep it charged up longer when you store it or pack it away. Um, so really good stuff from Gen Energy. Now they are a Korean company, but you could buy these batteries from any retailer, um, even on B&H. So I'll have a link to these products in the description below and also on the site cheesycam.com.